Hello and welcome back to Hope, Heartful Outreach, Positive Encouragement. We're so happy that you joined us again tonight and we have a really wonderful program coming your way, something new and refreshing. And I would like to greet my producer, Mr. Corey Henderson. How you doing? Hey, hey, I am doing lovely with this weather over here. It is Whew, a welcome change for, from 102, 103 degrees, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, we're in the 70s down here, so it's really, really nice. 74, I think it was today, maybe 77. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah that's yeah. San Diego weather. San Diego? Weather. Yeah. I yeah. think San Diego is just kind of biting off of our weather down here anyway. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> California, so you know how they think. Oh, yeah, I know. Best anyway, ever. Yeah, it's been great yeah. weather down here. Great weather. I've been yeah. enjoying it. We had uh, one of our backpack persons redeemed her backpack um, this past week. And okay. the other two, I'm telling you, I'm going to be like you, Corey. Mm -hmm. If we don't redeem these backpacks, we're going to find you. some other takers. And, you know, with all the things that are going on, I'm sure someone would love to have those backpacks. So. Yep. I'm going to give them a little bit more time, okay. <laughs> um, and then uh, if 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 I don't hear from them, then we will allow some other people who might need them to take those. Yeah. Or then, or hold up, I can give you my address. Let me text you. <laughs> do you need one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can use you need one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, our guests might be able to use one. You know? oh, oh yeah, that might be that I, that might be a doable thing. I might give her one anyway. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, there you go. So today we have a special guest. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, I have been meeting with mm -hmm. artists kind of offline uh, every other Thursday for the Artist Forum mm -hmm. and just allowing them to share with me what kind of gift and talent they have and, um, you know, seeing if they would like to be a part of the show by sharing their gift and sharing some testimony. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, this past week I met a beautiful young lady. Mm -hmm. And she is uh, an up and coming poet. Mm -hmm. And um, so I asked her, well, share, share with me what, uh, you know, what's on your heart and what you write. And she decided she was going to share her poem with me. And, and I thought it was really great and very okay. heartfelt. So I asked her if she would come on and meet everyone. So I would like to um, bring this young lady to the forefront and have everyone to just begin to look for her and listen for her work. So um, the first thing I'd like to do though, is play a little clip of her sharing from her heart, her own poem. So let's just take a listen. Okay, let's do that. This is The Other Side. I don't want any of you to get the wrong idea I'm not always happy, and I'm not always positive. I have some really heavy days, and sometimes it's hard to keep pushing. Push, they say, which means pray until something happens. And honestly, that can be really hard to do. Because what and how in the entire heck did I get here? Where is here? When I get to this state, I hold on to any weapon I can. I have all these tools to use and right now, I need them all because I can't afford to lose. Because if I lose, man, if I lose, God, if I lose. Okay. Well, that was beautiful. It was. And very heartfelt, I could tell. Yeah. And um, the subject of her, I'm going to let her kind of tell us, you know, break down for us what her poem means. And I'm going to ask her some questions about that and like what her inspiration is. So I would like everyone to meet Miss Nicolette Stafford. She is a New York native who was born to Trinidadian parents. As a second generation American, 
Nicolette grew up watching her parents work hard. Seeing that instilled a great work ethic, a can-do attitude, and a passion for helping others. Nicolette has a great love of family, children, animals, gardening, baking, creative arts, and traveling. Now that almost sounds like me. So, yeah, I was, I <laughs> so before you think I'm talking about me, I want you to meet Ms. Nicolette Stafford. All right. Hi. Hey, hey. <laughs> How are you doing, Nicolette? I'm good. That's good. good. I'm so glad good. you're able to come and uh, visit with us. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Oh, wonderful. It's like um, when I was reading your um, introduction and I saw all those things that you like, <laughs> that, that Corey was laughing too. It's like, yeah. okay, yeah. she likes gardening mm -hmm. and baking and creative arts and traveling. It's like, those are things that I love. Yeah. <laughs> things that I love very much, you know? And uh, so we have a lot of things in common. No wonder we were sort of attracted to each other as we were sharing our gifts together. So, where are you right now? Are you, what state are you in? I'm in Orlando. Oh, you're in Florida also. Yes. Wonderful. So what's the weather like down there in Orlando? 75 today, so it's perfect weather, but I get cold. Easy. See, oh, you get see cold. yo, yo, see, that's what I'm saying. That San Diego weather, I, I'm dying to get that year round over here, so. <laughs> You get cold? <laughs> that sounds like something that happens to me because, well, just because I'm older. But, you know, everybody has funny little body temperature things that go on. So, um, yeah. So, so um, what do you do when you're not, you know, when you're not writing poetry? Um, mostly hang with family or just stay connected mm -hmm. with my family right now because... Okay of my loss. Mm, okay. When you say loss, what, what do you mean? Um, well, last year my mom passed mm. and seven months later, my dad passed. Oh, my. So he passed this year. I'm so sorry, Nicolette. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's okay. Mm. So just trying to stay connected with my siblings most of all since it's really hard yeah. yes yeah. wow so how are you how are you doing with that it's an up and down process most days i'm positive sometimes mm -hmm. not so much right well that's a very normal emotion considering all that's going on so that kind of leads me right into my first question maybe you just answered it what what the uh inspiration was for your poem Tell me definitely what, a part of that. Is that part the of part, it? Well, a part of the answer is my the loss of my parents. Mm -hmm. And other than that, I do suffer with depression and anxiety. Mm -hmm. I see. So writing helps me navigate. Mm -hmm. Makes, makes sense. Uh, when I was when I was growing up, I uh I used writing a lot myself. I still, matter of fact, I still have a little portfolio over here full of writings from um, middle school, junior high, um, whatever you want to call it, whatever they call it nowadays in high school. I still have that poetry and every now and then I break it out so I, I, can, I can relate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, talking about relating, you're, that's just something else we have in common because the writing that I do really was birthed from a lot of hardship and pain and i i began to write so that i could to bring myself up out of what was going on and i i really believe god gave me that music so that i could um sing my way out of the dark places you know yeah. do you feel that way with your poetry yes <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a lot because you can write about happy times or sad times. Mm -hmm. And when poetry is basically the perfect expression, just writing anyways. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. period, whether it's music, poetry, or just jotting little notes down to yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how long have you been writing poetry? Um, I've been writing poetry since middle school. Yeah, I, I think mm, that takes me really back because I think that's about when I was writing too. I'm telling you, the more you talk, the more we have a lot of things. <laughs> we have a lot to talk about after this. We're going to have to be talking about a lot of things. So when you wrote that poem, um, what, as I remember a part of it, you were saying, you know, I use all the tools. I have to use all the tools. When you say all the tools, what, what were you thinking about when you said all the tools? Um, well, whether I talk to my therapist, that's a tool. Mm -hmm. If I ask for help outside of me, my siblings, or if even if I journal, I have these this app on my phone. It's a positivity app. It's like affirmations. So every day, I get like little reminders throughout my day and it mm -hmm. lets me know you are loved or basically anything that's positive. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So, like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, some, just some of the tools that um, I mean. What well, what kind of what kind of affirmation did you get today? I'm just out of, I'm just curious what kind of thing comes up. If you can remember. <laughs> I mean, you can look at your phone and look, and just read it to us if you want. I'm just curious. Oh, one of my favorite ones, mm -hmm. I actually screenshotted and I have it as my background. It says, I am bigger, brighter, and stronger than depression. Oh, okay. So when I have, I have that as my background to always remind me when I'm going through it, we're going to be okay. Yeah. Okay. Say it again, I'm bigger and better than my... I'm bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm bigger, brighter, and stronger than depression. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. And so your app just sends you affirmations once a day? Um, a few times a day. Oh, okay. Like every other hour or so. Okay, and how did you... How did you get that? I mean, who suggested that to you? Um, how I got it is I went, I'm sorry. How I got it is during the time I was just looking for anything positive. Mm -hmm. Because with my mom just passing, I wasn't really okay before she passed and she knew that. So I felt like it was imperative for me to get help. Mm -hmm find any other thing that would help me not stay in that state mentally. Right. Awesome. So you, you found it yourself. Yeah. Oh, Google wow. is amazing. You can find anything you want on Google. Oh, yeah. <laughs> true, yeah. But I mean, you know, that you went looking for something. Now, I mean, I'm just in awe of that because a lot of times, even someone like if if uh, you go to a therapist, sometimes they'll say, well, you might want to try this and you might want to try that. And a lot of times people don't even try the tools that the therapist recommended. And here it is that you just went on your own and found a tool that helps you. And I think that's amazing that you were reaching out for it like that. Yeah. Yeah. So so when you decided to get help, was that through the process of dealing with the grief? Or did you make that decision just prior to um, your mother passing away? Or how, how did that play out for you? How did that look for you? Because I took, I too decided to get therapy, but there was an event that triggered um, that reality for me that I needed to get it. So was that the same for you? Or did you just, you know, say, hey, after years of dealing with this, I need to get help? Um. It was a little of both mm -hmm. because I'm not really new to therapy, but since I've been in Florida, which was going on like four years now, that's how long I've been out, that I was out of therapy from before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But with my mom passing, I was like, okay, I was already going through stuff. And I felt, I felt that it was really important 
to not stay in that state or not drown any further for a, bad, um, a lack of. A better way to say it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's. I felt like I needed a lifeboat. I need help. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. And as much as I was praying, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need someone outside of you, or else just something tangible. Mm -hmm. Because yes, God is within me. However, I need someone else to help me. Yeah, Yeah. and there's nothing. He gave us all those tools to use them. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Wow. Okay, that's amazing. I'm I'm so happy that you shared that. Yeah. And I I my heart breaks for your loss. Yeah. Um, wow. Both parents within like one year. That's that's a lot to carry. And the, and the mere fact that you're here and you're still standing mm-hmm. just speaks to the fact that God has given you strength to to keep making it through. You're going to be fine. You're going to make it through. And your parents would want you to. So. I, I'm I'm really happy that you came tonight to talk with us. Someone else is going to be inspired by your testimony. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I know that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so um, let's see. I know I had another question for you. It's like uh, so. We talked about what what inspired you to write, and we talked about. Um, you know, kind of your writing thought process. So tell me a little bit about what you want to do with your writing. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But one of the most important things I do want to do is help people mm-hmm. in a lot of different ways. Yeah, I want to help people in a lot of different ways. I feel like my writing can do that, or just like little thoughts. Mm-hmm. Even how I get thoughts throughout the day, even if I like do it on YouTube or use any of the social media that I have at my fingertips to release them, that's what I feel like I should do. Mm-hmm. Bigger picture, maybe release my poems in a book, but I haven't really thought too much about it in advance. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I think that's a good plan to share it uh, so that, you know, like on uh, a YouTube channel so that others can benefit from, you know, th- what the what the writing is doing for you, it can do for others. I am a testimony of that because yeah. everything that I've written, it ministered to me. And then as I shared it with others, it ministered to them. So I think you really should do that. Help yeah. someone not feel alone. I think that's the most important thing because sometimes you feel alone in yeah. what you're going through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which leads, I know we're not. Yes. Yeah. So, so since you mentioned that, do you have um, a good solid support system? Um, and I know you're about family, but what about like maybe close friends that you can identify with um, at all? Do you have what? What does your support system look like? My support system looks like family. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. It's like my siblings and family mm-hmm. friends. Mm-hmm. Um, someone who's going, she went through the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like after my mom passed, her mom passed. Oh, man. And her mom and my mom were actually friends. So it helps because I know what she's going through mm-hmm. and she knows what I'm going through. And we feel the pain on a different level because although that's her mom, like I grew up around her. So essentially that's family. Mm-hmm. Good. So my strong, my support system is actually quite strong, which is good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. I, can, I can tell you must have a strong support system with carrying a burden like this. And you mentioned to me uh, before we came on that you have a twin. Yes, I do. I have a twin brother. Me, you didn't say you had a twin. (laughs) That's a part of getting to know. That's a part of getting, you know, to know you. Hey, I have a twin, and then somebody, then you swap places, and then try to, you know. (laughs) My twin's a boy. Oh, oh, okay. Well, he can put he can put on a wig and put on. (laughs) 
So you are you and your twin brother uh, close? Um, we're close, but we bump heads naturally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was that? Well, we bump heads. That's what you said. Yeah, yeah, that's what she said. I I know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, that's all natural. That's all good too. Yeah. yeah well, is. wonderful. So, if if BCPA could help you in any way with your gift, what would it be? I'm just curious. What 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 would we be able to do to help you with your poetry gift and you know your desire to be an artist and be more out there to help people? How can we help you? I don't even know. I you haven't thought about it? That was a very good question. Okay. <laughs> I didn't tell you I was going to ask that question. one, but it just came uh -huh. up in my, in my heart right now. Yeah, I caught you off guard. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so think about it. Yeah, that's what we're here for, is to help artists share their gifts. And I think that your gift is something that um, will help people to release some pain yeah. and, re and recognize they're not alone, as you said. Mm -hmm. So what what were you gonna what were you gonna say, Corey? No, I was just gonna um en encourage her a little bit and and say that um you know never never be ashamed because I know when I first the stigma in our community in the African American community um, is that it's a negative thing to get help. Mm. You know, for years it's like you know taboo so to speak, but. I think when a person gets to the point where they're exhausted, they're tired, both emotionally, spiritually, mentally, they just want to, they want some relief. And I can speak for myself in that, you know, when I, when I was dealing with what I was dealing with all those years, and I finally got to the point where a particular incident triggered my reality of saying, hey, get some help. Stop dealing with the same thing year in, year out, and going through the same motions. Just by way, just from me to you, never feel ashamed about doing that for yourself. Because in the long run, when you're better for you, you can be better for others. And sharing your, your story and your journey is one way God uses us and can use us to help other people who struggle in the same areas. So never be afraid, never be ashamed. I know you may come across as shy, but once you open up and you start to kind of, I guess, let your hair down, so to speak, you'll be able to get that out, get that message out. So that young girl that's nine, 10 years old, or that young boy that's 12 years old can say, you know what? It's never too early to start and open up about dealing with depression because a lot of parents don't know. Mm -hmm. Kids go in the room and cry after school because they they're bullied or whatever the case is. They suffering from, you know, um, just so much stress in school, peer pressure, whatever the case may be. But allow your story to come out in such a way that. It's an encouragement for even the ones that are behind you to say, you know what, it's never too early for me to start. Let me let let me tell my parents, let me tell somebody so I can get some help. So that's just from me to you as far as encouragement is concerned. So, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well said, Corey. Um, and it's so true. You know, a lot of times when uh, things happen, your emotions are on lockdown and um, instead of reaching out for help, a lot of times people just retreat into themselves and that's not a healthy thing to do because all you're doing is just replaying the same tape in your head over and over and over and you need something to interrupt the madness, you know, and give you something new. That's, that's why I was so proud of you when you said you had a, a positive affirmation that comes up on your phone regularly so you have something to maybe interrupt bad thoughts and something positive to think of. I think that's really great. Maybe you can share that app with us and we can post it in the comments for others who might want to use something like that. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. I think I could do that. Okay, so so Nikki, since you are 
going to be sharing your gift and uh, inspiring others with your talent. I'm wondering if you have a YouTube uh, channel or someplace where you're sharing your your gift and your poetry. I do have a YouTube channel. I just haven't up uploaded any videos of my poetry as well. Sorry. Okay. I'm tongue tied. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. What's the name of your channel? Yeah, what's the name? Let me see if I can find it. Um, let's see. Is it your name like Nikki? Sure. Let's see. Let's try that. <laughs> I thought that's what it was, but like Yeah. Okay. All right, yep, that's, that's exactly time. what it is. So, so here we go. I'm gonna put you out there, Nikki. There you go. So this is your channel. This is your channel. channel. All right. There. Okay. Look, that's cute. Okay. So we want you to get out there and start uploading some of your poetry. And we want your uh, some of our viewers to go over there and take a listen to what Nikki is saying about self-love. That'd be awesome. Support her channel. Subscribe to her channel. Yeah. So okay. that... Um, she can be encouraged to write more and share more of her story. Okay. Cool beans. <laughs> All, All right. right. See, she had no idea I was going to put her on first. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> She's on like, wait, wait, I'm not ready. I'm, I'm not. I'm not ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, but you will be. It gives you something good to focus on, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's good. Yes. Yeah. So I, my question to you was what, what's coming up in the future for you? And um, so we just got through deciding for you that, <laughs> that we want you to make, to write more poetry and share more of your thoughts about how to rise above depression. How about that? Okay, that sounds like a good decision. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna, we're gonna try to have you back here again uh, in a few months or so after you, you kind of, you know, stretch your wings a little bit more mm -hmm. and have you share some more of your poetry. How does that sound? That sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Uh, great. <laughs> so now one thing that we always do, Nikki, before we um, close our show, we always ask the guest to share a message of hope with the audience. So could you do that for us today? Do you have a thought that you might want to share? Um, yes. <laughs> Things do get better. I know it sounds very cliche, but just because you are where you are right now does not mean that is the final destination. Mm -hmm. So just keep pushing through and see. Mm -hmm. That was it. <laughs> so just keep pushing through well good that that's a good message you know um that we can't give up we have to keep on keep moving forward and it, it's almost like the lyrics to the song of our theme song don't give up dig your heels in because yeah. help is on the way you know right. and that's what we're about here we're about inspiring people to keep on keep climbing and keep struggling to be the best that God would have us be. So thank you, Nikki, for coming. <laughs> yes, we appreciate it. Oh man. Yeah, we do. And thank you for, you know, sharing even through a very difficult moment for you, a difficult time for you. But I tell you what, there are a lot of people struggling the same way that you are struggling. And I know that when they hear your message, it will inspire them. It will it will be comforting to them. So for everyone who's listening tonight, I hope that you will go back to the beginning of this broadcast and listen to Nicolette's poem again and be encouraged that um, you can make it. Yes, you can. Definitely can. It's not the end. It's not the end. Not Just the have end. to keep going to see it. That's right. All right. Well, that's it for us tonight. Unless Corey has something to say. No, I think um, she did a great job and
sharing her thoughts and we kind of hashed out some good stuff. So again, keep your head up, keep your head up and share your story. Yes, do that. All right. So for everyone watching, thank you for being here for Hope, Heartful Outreach, Positive Encouragement. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you back here again next time. God bless. Good night. Good night, everyone. Hi, we couldn't let tonight's broadcast end without coming back to just share a few thoughts. First of all, I want to once again thank Nikki Stafford for being brave enough to come on and share her testimony and share her poetry and speak from her art. Um, I am so thankful that she was willing to do that. And uh, we did not know before we recorded this broadcast that Nikki had lost both her parents. She did share with us, however, that her mother's uh, anniversary of her mother's death was coming up. And we were aware of that, but she still agreed to come on and do the broadcast. And um, we're thankful that she was willing to do it in the midst of carrying so much grief in her heart. So. Thank you, Nikki, once again for doing that. And I know from experience that not only Nikki, but so many others out there are suffering the loss of loved ones, suffering and grieving from uh, even some sudden losses of loved ones. And so I wanted to come on just for a moment to offer my condolences to the entire Stafford family but also to you, if you are one of those who lost, who lost a loved one uh, in the pandemic or in any of these natural disasters that are going on right now. So much is going on in our world. And if we don't lift each other up, you know, it's like the Lord said that we should carry one another's burdens. And so if we don't do it, then um, who is there for us? We need, to, we need to hold each other's hand and lift each other up. So I'm going to end this broadcast with a word of prayer. Lord, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you, Lord God, for being our comforter. Thank you, Lord God, that you are always there when we need you. Thank you for sending others to encircle us with your love, Lord God, when we need it the most. Lord, I lift up the Stafford family to you. I thank you that they are loving on each other and uh, supporting each other through this time of grief. And I pray, Lord, that you will help them to do, just as Nikki said, use the tools that you've given them, Lord God, to get through the grieving process. I also pray for those out there, Lord, who are also struggling and who have suffered many losses during the pandemic and during the natural disasters, or whatever might be going on in their lives, Lord. You know them all. And I pray, Father, that you would comfort them, keep them, draw them closer to you. Lord, help them to know that it's time to get to know you. So we thank you, Father, for loving us. We thank you for hearing our prayer and thank you for giving us this broadcast to be able to share. We give you all the praise and all the glory in your name, Jesus. Amen. Okay, that's it for us tonight. We ask you to come back again to Hope, Heartful Outreach, Positive Encouragement, tell a friend, and we will see you on the next broadcast. Good night.